Have you ever wondered where the idea of halos came from? In Exodus chapter 34, when Moses saw the glow of God's glory, it says he glowed so much they had to put a veil over his face because the people of Israel were afraid to look at him. In Acts chapter 7, when Stephen stood before the Sanhedrin, before they stoned him, they said his face looks like the face of an angel. John Wesley, who was kicked out of the Anglican church because they said he was too radical, stood four feet 11 inches tall and shook a continent for Christ. It was said of his preaching, look, he glows, he glistens. Did you know that once the fire of God is lit in your heart, you can't keep its glow a secret and you can't keep it inside. In Jeremiah chapter 20, verse nine, speaking of the fire of God's word and its glow, Jeremiah says, it burns in my heart like a fire. It's like a fire on my bones. I am worn out trying to hold it in. I can't do it. Beloved, once the fire of God is lit in your heart, you are literally glowing with love for Jesus. Do you glow with love for Jesus? Or has your fire been smothered by the ashes of sin? Proverbs 28, 13 tells us, he who covers his sin will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. God wants to stoke your heart and reignite his fire within you. Oh, today, fall on your face before God. Confess and forsake every sin that has come between you. And God will forgive your sin. He will reignite his fire in your heart and he will restore his glow in your life. To God be the glory. This is Lane Wilder for Carry the Light Ministries, bringing you insights from an elder.